Welcome back Blade fans. We're going on a designer expedition today. I've uh, reinvigorated my designer's corner series. So far I've only done Dirk Pinkerton back a while ago. But I have collected enough of uh, this maker's designs, Ivan Braganets, who is, by the way, a Ukrainian designer, along with Max Tachuk, two well-known Ukrainian designers, going through a rough time these days in their country. And uh, here's a shout out to Ivan. He does fantastic work. He is a mainstay in the knife community. and. Uh, well regarded for his designs and as well as just being a great guy and uh, having a great character and although I've never met him we're gonna go um, sort of more or less chronologically here I believe this is the oldest one of Ivan's designs on the table and this is a Kaiser knife and as you can see there's the name it is the Odin named after a Norse god, interestingly enough. And uh, starting right off, we have carbon fiber, but here's a very unusual treatment of carbon fiber. Rather than letting it stand alone on the texture and pattern of the carbon fiber, it is heavily ribbed and textured, which I think is kind of a cool thing. You can't really see too much of the underlying pattern but it has a definite uh, texture to it which is kind of cool. A raised lanyard, double lanyard hole here for a very thin piece of lanyard thread and uh, that whole thing including the backspacer design here this kind of uh, grenade pattern here that we see on the, the backspacer is interesting. Kind of goes along with the pattern here. And a, a clip that really stands out nicely. Very cool. A opening hole here. I'm not sure if I can get it to open with that. First try I'm going to make is with the flipper. And we can see this has sort of some tanto implications to it. Whereas we've got a secondary, it's really a belly and not a point. And then almost a bird's beak down. And if you look at that hole there, it does look like an eye and a bird. Really interesting. Although it is called the Odin. There's Kaiser's emblem. And it is from S35VN, as are many of the titanium Kaiser knives. And there is the Braganets Ivan B, or Ivan D. Is it B or D? Ivan D. I think that's for Dmitrovich. Here is a very nicely jimped release and a relief on the locking bar. And this is a frame lock. Extremely smooth drop shut action. can really feel it. I mean, there's a, like a constant tension there that is not tight, but gives you that pneumatic kind of a feel. I like that new word pneumatic because it does describe the action of many of these knives that are running on bearings. Good sized knife too. I got about an inch left over on the handle. Uh, it is relatively effective jimping. I'd call it medium grab on the thumb. And I'm going to try and see if we can, yeah, we can just about finger flick it. There we go. So I can middle finger flick it, but can't quite get the thumb on it. That's because the shoulder on that hole is somewhat rounded over. And when you have that, it's not grabbing the skin. So you don't get good traction. But that's the Odin beautiful knife. Titanium S35VN and carbon fiber. Just really well designed and well executed by Kaiser. All right. Now, one of the first knives I became aware of that Ivan had designed was by Real Steel. 
And this goes way, 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 way back into the distant past, into tw 2020. Whoa. <laughs> this is the Rokat. Not rocket, but Rokat. And Rokat means like thunder or to rumble or like a rocket taking off. So I guess rocket's got two meanings there. But it is Rokat, I am told. And here what he did was, in the Russian language, which is used in Ukraine as well, people speak both languages, it is a Morse code for his name along the scales there. And very typical of Ivan, except for the knife I just showed you, the Odin, is this um, single slotted screw and not a um, not a Torx, okay? Got a beautiful kind of utility drop point there. High flat grind. I believe the steel is, uh, yeah, N690. I was going to say 14C, but it's N690. Got a nice fuller there. Extremely light. And if you want to know more about any of these, there are individual reviews. There also is uh, Morse code on the clip, which is kind of cool, and it is a deep carry clip that is switchable with that slot there to the left side. So an ambidextrous knife because you have double thumb studs and you have the front flipper tab. And it front flips very well for me, which is really something to say. It is a rather thin handle. It's a real comfort to hold. It's a great working utility knife where you can get just about any grip you want on this knife. And when you hold it point down, it's quite comfortable to cap it with the thumb. That's not always the case. Black G10 handles on this one. And uh, here's the bonus. Lamnia, which is a uh, Scandinavian uh, I believe they could be Dutch or Norway. I think they're Norway. They came out with a special edition of the Rokat in rich materials, all carbon fiber with the same <laughs> design there in Morse code, same setup, and it is M390. All right, big deal, high-end steel. And uh, there it is right there. And it's all blacked out, murdered out, as, like, as some people like to say. Black clip, black carbon fiber, which is really gorgeous. And a uh, little different. Let's take a look and compare here. Nope. Well, the backspacer is about the same length, maybe, yeah. It's just got a little different pattern to it. It is still a liner locking knife. Very smooth action and it is still a front flipper as well as the double thumb studs. So that's kind of the bonus for me was to be able to find this on Lamnia. Um, and if they're still available I'll give you the link for those. This was bought about a good year ago or more. As I say, the knife itself, the first version, was introduced in um, 2020. And uh, Lamnia might have come out with that uh, maybe a little less than a year later. Moving on. Um, this is a more recent real steel design. The Huggin by Real Steel, as I said, and Ivan. And it's so close in design to the Rokat. They're almost like twins, except we've got more of a spear point going on here with a swedge. Uh, and yet, it is an axis style bar lock, but really very, very similar. Almost, you know, um, same design language, certainly same designer, and some excellent, very grippy uh, jimping there. And what at first looks like a crown spine is actually just chamfered. And rather than having the grind go all the way up to the top, 
we have the grind stop just short so it goes up like seven eighths of the way or so still we got a nice flat grind and what did they use for this one VG10 it's an oldie but goodie used by Spyderco and many other companies and a really nice smooth bar lock and the action is extremely smooth you can roll that out effortlessly stays in place you could probably yeah it's loose enough look at that didn't notice that before I can shake it almost completely open probably if I wasn't in front of the camera I could by turning it in the uh, point down position another very neutral handle with a little bit of palm swell in the middle and again that jimping is most effective and we've got a little different treatment of the thumb studs there on the Rokat no they are the same look at that I thought they were different identical thumb studs on the Rokat and on the Huggin and the Huggin is one of two ravens again from a Norse mythology that were Odin's uh, messengers would come back and give him information there is the um, very typical of Ivan uh, slotted screw both at the rear position and the front and we have the uh, clip which is slightly different switchable with a single screw swing it over to the other side and you have left hand carry and deep carry clip once again except this time we don't have the Morse code on the handle that is the Huggin again I did a review on that not that long ago but we're talking about Ivan here so I'm pulling out all the Ivan knives now the Arcona nettle Arcona nettle a real interesting extremely lightweight knife I promised myself I wouldn't measure and weigh on these because those are found elsewhere on the site on the individual reviews all I gotta do is come near this scale and it changes come on so here we have a 3.45 ounce knife quite light for the size um, brilliant blue backspacer which is um, yeah is it steel yeah I'm picking up the liners there I think it's aluminum pretty sure it's aluminum uh, slotted screws all the way down the side three major screws it's that interesting with the lanyard hole double screws at the end and you can open this with the hole very easily look at this wicked blade it's really really neat and um, this one is in K110 Bowler K110 a more refined ingot D2 and we've got micarta scales this one came to me through knife nuts podcast shout out to Levon and uh, he was the one that imported these as well as the next one you're gonna see very relaxed action on this and this has not been adjusted it's just came that way very cool knife the Arcona nettle medium size to full size knife nice jimping here very aggressive jimping cut sharp but not cut that deep And in case you might be wondering, um, Arcona is, I believe, a Russian company. So is the next one. All of this uh, transpired uh, before the conflict that's going on now, the war, really. Um, so I'm not sure if these are still available or if Ivan is still even doing business with any Russian companies. So... Uh, not quite sure how that's working but this one is crystal k-r-i-s-t-a-l which i believe is another russian company but again designed by ivan and this is the one with the giant 
I guess we have to call it a fuller that's sort of frosted and textured in the middle, making it a very unusual knife with a very thick blade stock and a very sharp edge. Titanium handle, S35VN steel, um, really nice premium knife. Uh, got some jimping back here that my thumb just slides on pretty much because it's protected by the frame. So it's kind of more for looks than anything else. But again, what's impressive here is the blade stock. And since I fixed my caliper, let's take a look at what it is. We're going to call that four millimeters. You won't see these measurements come up on the screen. But there you go, 0.15. So like a 3.8 to 4 millimeters in there. Pretty thick blade stock, in uh, which you'd call a drop point. Got a big interruption there. Not sure how that would uh, aid or de de delete from or <laughs> impede, rather, uh, cutting. Because I haven't cut a lot with this, through, especially through meats or materials that it has to pass through cardboard or whatever. But... This is fairly slick in here, and it is on both sides. So that's the crystal. And um, what did we say this is? So there's his, there's his logo. That's the crystal. That's the crystal Aurora. So if I didn't give you the name, it's the Aurora. Should have remembered that. Let's bring him back uh, more or less in order that I brought him out. There is the Arcona nettle. And um, here is the Huggin. Here is the Rocat. Here is the special edition Rocat from Lamnia in M390 and carbon fiber. And the Odin by Kaiser. Hope you enjoyed this review. Don't forget to give it a like and subscribe. And while I'm thinking about it, let's throw the Griptilian in there just so you can have your comparisons. Alrighty, catch you soon. Be well.